The first suite in E-flat of Gustav Holst has been one of the most often performed original works for band since it entered our repertoire nearly a century ago. Composed in 1909, we are still unsure for whom the work was written, and there is no definitive record of performance before 1920, a very curious situation for a work of such monumental importance to the wind band. It has also been a work whose difficulty has frequently been underestimated. On the surface, little about it appears to be overly challenging to any good high school or community band. There are no complex rhythms or meters, harmonic content is tonal, there are few extremes of range except in several isolated measures, tempos are not overly fast or slow, and the orchestration is rather straightforward. Likewise, the facility required is really nothing exceptional if one is well grounded in scale patterns and arpeggios. The lines are often doubled and the length of the entire piece is nothing exceptional, perhaps about 10 or 11 minutes long depending on interpretation. Nonetheless, the work is deceptively difficult to conduct and perform well. So, why is a work that is technically manageable so difficult to execute? Well, if one looks deeper than the nuts and bolts of construction that are often used to characterize a work's difficulty for repertoire lists, the answer is found. <clears throat> this is a work with inherent beauty and perfection of form, proportion, and orchestration. And its perfection <clears throat> creates a transparency that reveals any imperfections in performance, so that small discrepancies in execution become noticeable, much like if one were to take a yellow highlighter to make a small mark on a beautiful painting by Monet or Rembrandt. One would clearly notice that small mark. To perform music of this quality effectively, a well-conceived interpretation is necessary to reveal the inner beauty of the music. Tempos must be well thought out, the full dynamic spectrum must be employed with control, Detailed consideration of balance is essential to achieving clarity. Articulation must be perfectly matched across the ensemble. <clears throat> Melodies must be shapely but not overly done. Pacing with respect to both tempo and dynamic intensity must be mastered. And the judicious use of percussion must be understood for its role in adding to the beauty of the music. This is a work that rewards thorough score study, and thoughtful interpretive decisions, nourished by inspiration and performance. Before discussing particular features of the music in the following videos, it will be helpful to have a numbered score or part. The quarter note pickup in the first movement is measure one, and numbers continue in sequence through the end of the entire work, with the final measure being 453.